So you want a macro on multiple accounts, or maybe you just want a macro in the background. This is difficult, but can even be done on a Windows Home license. I do have to warn you that this is quite technical, so if you don't think you're up to it, just skip to the final part where we install Natro itself, but it just won't run in the background. We're going to break it down into four main steps. Enabling RDP on Windows Home, creating user accounts, setting up and using RDP, and finally, installing Natro and adding some finishing touches. Now, if you're on a home license, you don't have RDP, but it is possible to bypass this restriction. I can't say that I recommend doing this since it will break Microsoft's license agreement, but for educational purposes, this is how you would do it. To enable RDP on Windows Home, we need to install a couple programs. Luckily, these are on GitHub and are open source, so if you really want to check them, you can go have a look to make sure they're safe. The first one we're going to install is RDP Wrapper Library. This has not been updated in over 6 years, so we will need something else as well to make it work. Simply head to the releases and download the zip file. This might be blocked on Chrome, so you might need to use Edge or some other browser. Open the file and extract it. You should see an install file. Simply run this and it will install. I've already installed it, so I won't do it again. If you run RDP conf, it should tell you if it is installed correctly. This bottom line here will be red for you, but it will turn green in the next step. You're doing great. You're halfway to getting RDP to work already. We just need to download one more file and then step one is done. Simply go to the link in the description, save this file, click all files, remove the TXT ending, and save it. It's warning me here that I already have it, that's because I've done this before. Now we'll find the file we downloaded, and we're going to move it to where RDP wrapper installed. This will normally be C drive, program files, RDP wrapper. Copy it in here, and replace it. After rebooting your computer and going back to RDP conf, you should see everything is green. That means that RDP should now work. In settings, head to accounts, other users, and then add an account. Choose that you don't have their details, and then add a user without an account. Put in whatever details you want here, and a password if you want. This is how you will sign into the account. Now you have an account made, keep it as a not administrator account. You'll see why in a minute. Currently, it doesn't have permission to use RDP, so you'll need to switch accounts to access it. An easy way is using Control Alt Delete or just using Windows L. Once you have logged into the new user account, install Roblox. The difference is this will install in the local app data directory instead of program files. Program files would work, but it breaks on client updates. So this is the better alternative. If for whatever reason, the Roblox client moves itself back into program files, you may need to remove administrative privileges and sign in without RDP, just to fix it. This isn't an ideal solution. So if you know how to add RDP permissions without administrator on a home license, please let me know. For a pro license, there is already a permission group you can use. The easiest method is just making it administrator, which is what we're gonna do here. We're simply gonna change it to an administrator account. This will allow us to RDP into it. Now what you can do here is use the built-in RDP client Windows comes with. We're going to use RDP Plus, which is just a wrapper around RDP, and will give you some nice extra features. The link for this is in the description, but this still would also work with the regular Windows one. So open the client you just installed, we just search for rdp.exe. You'll need to click run, and then it should open. Now we'll choose the IP address to connect to, because this is on our computer, we can do 127.0.0.2 Then for every other connection, just increase it by 1 So dot .3, dot .4, so on Now we're going to create some user profiles This is just a saved instance of the account details Just make it easier to sign in Your username and password should match the details of the account you were trying to sign in as Now we will simply select the account Choose the resolution you want 
and then connect. We have now signed in and we can remotely control this user account. Congratulations, you've now finished setting up RDP. Just one more step to go. This is a very quick overview on how to get Natro Macro, but we will have another video about settings and how to use it best. Natro runs on AutoHotKey, so you will need to download this. As usual, the link is in the description. Now, simply search for Natro Macro and click on the link to the Discord. Join the Discord server and then download the most recent version. Extract the zip file and simply run the start file. The easiest way to give our new user account access to the macro is just copying it to its documents. Now, if we go over to the RDP session, we can easily find it. Now let's test it by actually running Roblox and running the macro. As you can see, it works and I can even use my computer at the same time. The final tip is to use multiple desktops so you can have the macroing accounts running in the background and they'll never bother you. This is so that you can keep them maximized. If you minimize them, then there can be issues with the macros running. There are ways to fix this, but I'll give more information in the description with a link to a resource given by Natro themselves. To create multiple desktops, simply use Control Windows D and Control Windows and an arrow to navigate between them. To show how powerful this is, I've had two accounts macroing the entire time I've been editing this video, so it really is quite simple. If you want to add a second account, just make another account and connect to it. The exact same steps, just doing it again. If something isn't quite working, you can come join the Discord server and I'll try my best to help you. Hopefully you've learned something new, and now you can either use multiple accounts or just use your computer while you're macroing. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you all later.